Hey guys, it's Tim here from Test Demi. We're back with part two of our object oriented programming, which is pretty much the test automation for beginners course, which we're using uh, Selenium WebDriver and Python to learn how to be a test automation engineer. Uh, for part one of the uh, object oriented programming portion of this, uh, we looked at uh, mostly the introduction to OOP, which stands for object oriented programming. We looked at what classes are, looked at what objects are. We looked at some of the advantages of ob advantages of object oriented programming. Uh, we looked at the concept of instantiation, which is uh, creating an object from a class. Uh, we also look at the init method, which means uh, initializing uh, a particular class when you've created it, you know, but basically creating a method when you initialize uh, your method for your class. We looked at uh, instance variables and we also uh, looked at the attributes in some cases. So uh, for today, we want to actually kind of dig a little deeper when it comes to object oriented programming. And what I want to show you, uh, ladies and gentlemen here, is we're going to continue from the code we left off at. And we're going to look at something uh, called methods, right? We looked at the initiation method, uh, initialization method when you created this initialization uh, method within this computers class. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to actually now, you can actually create more methods or like we mentioned previously, when it's not uh, in a class uh, encapsulation that's considered a function. Uh, an example of a method is like uh, a method can be, if you have a video game, you can say kick, it can be punch, it can be jump, it can be duck, it can be a boxing game, it can be punch, you know. So these are a variety of different methods of function. So when it comes to a computer, what are some of the functions of a computer, right? Uh, you can write a program, a Microsoft Word uh, document program, you can write an Excel program, uh, you can print, that's a computer function. Um, uh, you can send an email. So these are a variety of, of, of computer functions here uh, that you can create. So you want to create methods when you're working with classes. So what I want to do, we want to create a few methods here, right, that we can create our own methods. Um, yeah, the first method we're going to uh, create is actually going to be the start method. So, for example, if you want to start up your computer, right, it's a start method. So you call the start method. What it's going to do is going to power up your laptop, power up your smartphone, or power up your desktop computer, right? Uh, so you go ahead and pass the self uh, 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 argument here and in this case we're just going to do a print it's going to be uh, we're going to say starting my and we're going to do we're going to pass the self that you know self that name which is going to be from here right whatever the name of our uh, computer is here in this case or an object I'm going to say uh, here computer right so what you want to do here, so this is the method we've created. So this is our own created method, right? So we want to come here and again, back at the back, uh, looking at this Apple object that we created or that was instantiated, uh, we can just do Apple dot. And if you notice here, I come down, you can see the method here, right? You can see this M method and it's uh, been inherited from the computer's class. And if you guys remember when we were looking at, for example, um, other functions, built-in functions in the past. That's pretty much what was happening here. Happening here. If you guys remember when we looked at the, um, when we were looking at variables, and we had the upper method and the lower method. We had the capitalized method, and we had a variety of methods. Well, those are methods that were called from that class, those variable class, right, or that string class. You had methods that were actually built in already, right? So, uh, so in this case, if we go to Apple dot uh, here start, you can see. We already have our start method. So when we call this uh, start method here, what it's going to do is go ahead and is going is going to go ahead and run this actual code. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, trigger this. Right? You can see this. It says starting my Macintosh computer. Right? And that was based on this particular start method, which we called here when we ran apple.start. All right. So let's look at a few more methods. Uh, another method we can actually define here. We can define. Uh, restart. Uh, we can actually let's do yeah restart. We can do re underscore start. So what you're doing here, you're restarting your computer. A lot of times your computer might have frozen and you want to restart it. Uh, just go ahead and call your restart method. So here we're gonna do the same thing. Uh, we're gonna say restarting. We're gonna say restarting. We're gonna say restarting my. And also here we're gonna say self dot name. All right. And go ahead and pass another part of the string and computer, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and call this. So we have to actually now go ahead and call the uh, apple dot, you guessed it, restart. You see that? Also the apple dot restart method. 
So we go ahead and call the restart method. And as soon as we run that, we don't have to actually do a print because what it's doing in this function, we're doing a print. Of course, you can write a lot more uh, sophisticated code, but in our case, we're just actually doing a simple print so you, can, you guys can see how the object-oriented programming concepts work uh, when we create your own method. So you create it, and you can see it says restarting my Macintosh computer, right? So that's a restart method. We can actually create another method. In this case, again, these are examples. We can do a stop method. We want to actually go and shut down. Actually, we're not going to call this stop. We're going to call it shut down, right? We want to actually shut down our computer. All right, so you're done for the day. It's been a long day at work, so you want to go ahead and shut down your computer. And we're going to say shutting down. Shutting down my. And what's the, what computer are you start shutting down? You're going to pass the name plus yeah, computer, okay? Alright, so there we go. So we're going to shut down our computer. And we want to do is uh, at least we forget. Let's go ahead and call that apple.shutdown method. And with the shutdown method is again, depending on the code you have in here, if you have some more sophisticated code, it will go ahead and run that code just like the upper method, the lower, uh, lo uh, lower method, capitalized method, sort methods, and a lot of other methods uh, that we looked at earlier. And if you guys are not familiar with this, go back and watch a lot of previous videos so you can actually catch up because we're building on all these concept, we, concepts we've been learning. So let's go ahead and run the shutdown method. And as you can see, it says shutting down my Macintosh computer, right? So those are a few of the methods. You can actually um, leverage that same, those same concepts for the HP, in this case, the HP object. All you have to do is HP dot, let's say we do HP dot shutdown. Uh, we can also do HP uh, dot start. We can start the HP computer. We can do HP dot restart. We can actually restart our computer, right? So this, this is the great thing about object-oriented programming. You don't have to actually write the code. You can actually just call methods and functions. Uh, same thing for our Dell computer. We can do Dell. We can say Dell uh, dot start. We can start the Dell computer. We can do Dell dot restart. We can restart the Dell computer. And we can do Dell dot shutdown, right? And we can go ahead and shut down that computer. And now let's go ahead and run this code. And you can see here... Um, for our Dell uh, Hewlett Packard computer, we said shutting down my Hewlett Packard computer, started my Hewlett Packard computer, restarted my Hewlett Packard computer. Same thing for Dell, based on the code uh, here. It says starting my Dell computer, restarted my Dell computer, and shutting down my Dell computer. So that's pretty much it, guys. I want to just keep this part part of the object oriented programming part two short and simple. Uh, so go ahead and uh, create your own classes, create your own objects. When you create your own objects, go ahead and create your own uh, methods and go ahead and call them and create them. And I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to testdemi.com. Subscribe to this channel, leave your comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. We out, all right? No doubt.